Lesson number two, there is a big difference between a music gig and music ministry. A music gig is you show up, you set up your equipment, you play, you pack your stuff up, and you get your check and you get out. Music ministry, you set up your keyboard, you play, you might even put some money in the offering. Eventually, you might join that church. You might even show up for Bible study when you don't have to play. You might show up for prayer meetings. Oh, and you're not sleeping with all the girls in the choir and you're not trying to sleep with all the girls on the dance team. <laughs> I told y'all whenever I'm wearing some John Deere gear, you already better be ready for me to be raw and just give you the dirty truth. I know how this works, especially musicians who just looking for music gigs. There really is a difference between a music gig and music ministry. In fact, let me tell y'all this quick story. So there was this really small church, they were looking for a musician, and I wasn't really feeling how much they were willing to pay me, but I went on and took it anyway because I just needed the extra cash. I ended up joining this church. They ended up doubling my pay year after year after year. I mean, my, my income quadrupled. So one day, this pastor calls me in the office and says, KC, I'm sorry to tell you this, but from here on out, your position will not be a paid position. Bro, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, I, I was thinking that, but that, that's not what I said. So I left the church and I went with one of my homeboys. He had another like side church. So I just hustling, doing my thing, playing at different churches. Then one day I felt this strong pull. Like I felt like God was telling me to go back to that church that was gonna have me playing for free. So anyway, I go back to the church and I explain to the pastor, hey, listen, I'm not really sure, I can't really explain everything, but I feel like this is where I need to be. So I started playing at the church for free. I mean, I was teaching choir rehearsal, training the band members. I was doing all the stuff I was doing when I was making all that money, I was doing it for free. And I did this for about a year. So y'all wondering, what was I doing to make money? Bro, I was selling mattresses and beds and futons. Bruh, do y'all hear me? I was selling mattresses, futons, beds, and I was planning this church full time for free. So one year later, the pastor calls me in his office and he's like, KC, you know, to be honest with you, I, I cut your pay, I cut your salary because I wanted to know where your heart was. I wanted to know, were you here just to get a check or were you really sold out to the ministry? Did you really have a heart to serve? And I was thinking in my mind, bruh, don't come to me with that. But I had to be spiritually mature and I understood exactly where he was coming from. And immediately after he told me that, he said, I know your heart. I'm going to pay you double what you were making before you left. That's right. Bruh, I was the highest paid musician in the entire region. But that's why it's so important for you to make sure that you're at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. You know, I realize we got to make money. We're musicians. We're professionals. But sometimes God sees he has a bigger plan, a bigger purpose for us. Now, I'm not telling y'all to go out and go play for free. But what I am telling you is you must make sure that you're in tune, that you're at the right place at the right time and that you have the right motives because you never know what God has in store for you. So right now it is the year 2018. I've lived in Atlanta all of my life. But this year I made a major, major choice and a major decision. My beautiful wife, her brother ended up getting the opportunity to pastor a church. And the church is actually my, my wife, their, their brother and sister, is their grandfather. He passed recently. And anyway, the brother was living in Chicago and they called him in and said, hey, listen, we would love to give you the opportunity to pastor this church. This church is super small. Like, I'm laying, I mean, like 50 members, maybe 70 members. This is where God told me to come. So now I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I don't see the big picture. I don't know exactly 100% why. I would have never imagined I would go and play at some small church with 50 to 70 members. But guess what? As soon as he told me he was gonna be the pastor of that church, I told him, I said, man, listen, whatever you need, I got you. So we decided to sell our home. We put it on the market. And within three days, we got an offer. The offer was double what we paid for the house. I don't think y'all understand. We paid this amount for the house. We end up getting this amount for the house. So now we're here in Tulsa. I've met quite a few singers and musicians and we're for the most part pretty settled in. But back to this church, when I got there, they didn't even have a drum set. So I was using click tracks. I was building my own drum loops and playing and Eventually, we got a drum set recently, and we got a drummer. He's pretty, pretty solid. Good, 
So I go from playing at these churches that have six and seven musicians now to just me and a drummer. Y'all know I don't like to close out any video without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity to become a better you.